Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're going to learn how you can replace the boot animation as well as the sounds on your mobile phone and tablet. So there's two ways you can do this here. You can do it on the computer before you put the ROM on your phone and flash it. The other way is to do it while it's on your phone, and we'll talk about that. They're both very similar, both basically the same. You're just going to copy and paste files where they need to be in your system. So, to start out with, I've got this ROM here. I'm going to be putting on the Jedi X ROM. And uh, big thanks to the developer of this ROM. You can check out my review of this ROM. It's a great ROM for the Note 2. So we're going to be putting this back on, but I want to change some of the sounds. I want to add uh, these two sounds here, actually. Um, these are the lock and unlock sound effects that you hear on the Galaxy S4. So I want to put those on my Note 2. So what I have here is I, I have the files, and you see they need to be OGG files. That's the media file that's required for Android. First thing I did is extract the ROM from the zip file and uh, put it into a location. I only put it into this folder because my desktop is very cluttered right now. But you can put it anywhere, extract it anywhere. And then you're going to open it up and you see the these are all the folders that are in a ROM. We want to go into System. And then halfway down, we're going to find media. Double click that. Now, here is in this media folder, you're going to find the boot animation zip. So if you want to change this out, you want to change your boot animation, this is the file that you would want to change. So just find yourself a new boot animation you can even create your own but bear in mind there's some certain criteria you have to follow it has to be a certain size it has to be the correct resolution for your device when you get one you can just drag and drop it into this media folder and overwrite this boot animation zip however I always recommend coming in here renaming this so like I would name it boot animation one. That way when I bring in the new boot animation file, I still have this old one just in case something goes wrong. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, in order to do the sounds, we're going to come up to audio. And in this folder, audio folder, you have all the ringtones and notification sounds that come on a ROM. So you can come in here and drop in, you know, your custom ringtones, your custom notification sounds, things like that if you want to. If you want to change the system sounds, that's where we go into UI. And here, zoom out a little bit, are all the system sounds that are in this ROM right now. And like I said, they're all OGG files. We are looking for lock. Uh, which is right here and unlock which is up here right there now what we want to do is rename these as I showed with the boot animation now all I want to do is drag and drop these two files in there and you see that unlock is in there and lock is in there now and that's it it's very simple now uh, like I said you can change out most of these once again there's some uh, criteria you have to follow the audio file can't be too big so now we're gonna come out of here and we're gonna back all the way out and we just need to re-zip this file I use 7-zip
And I'll be right back as that finishes up. All right, so now I have my zip file back. All I would have to do is transfer this to my phone and flash it like a regular ROM, and it's going to have all the cool sounds in there that I customized myself. Now, as I was saying, you can do it on the computer and then add the ROM to your phone if you'd like, or you can do it right on your device. This is my tablet, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but I put the custom sounds on here as well. So when I turn it on and turn it off, I get the uh, cool Galaxy S4 sound effect. So just like on the computer, it's very similar doing it right on the device. First thing is you have to have a rooted phone or tablet, and you have to have some kind of file manager that you can rewrite files with. Um, I use Root Explorer for mine. <clears throat> but there are other ones out there and uh, very simple you come down come into system then you go into media then you go into audio then you go into UI and you want to copy and paste those files in there and either overwrite the original files or what I recommend rename the originals and keep them in there with them and that's it guys <clears throat> After you've done that, reboot the device and all the new sounds will be there, just like on here. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com, I'll see you next time.